What's going on everybody, PhysioTraders. So today I wanted to talk about something, not necessarily trading, but trading related. And so um, with uh, some of these brokers, you know, you have something what is known as margin buying power. And in doing so, each broker will determine how much buying power you get and with how much of that buying power you have available to you, what exactly does it mean with relation to each different stock? Now, that all makes sense. So looking over here so up here i have you know my broker one of them at least is uh light speed and so looking over here at the level twos we have these two little increments that are here um uh so this is this specific company is nvidia uh this e means that is easy to borrow which allows me the opportunity to short it if i would like uh, without having to pay any sort of fees such as locates or borrow fees um, and then the 25 percent means that i have a 25 percent uh, maintenance margin required for that in other words if you get uh, with a traditional broker you get four to four to one buying power for every one dollar you bring to the table you get an additional three so it's four dollars for your original one or three dollars plus your additional one um, and that 25% means that that's one fourth of that. So you get to actually use the full buying power allotted to you. There are other stocks that may have different rules. For instance, look over here at light or at a Tesla. Tesla, you see it says 35%. Still easy to borrow, but it's 35. Um, let's see if we can. Um, so. Uh, looking back, uh, I was trying to find something else, but Bed Bath & Beyond, you can see here it says 100%, which essentially means you get to you know, trade with the money that is in your account, but you do not get access to any margin buying power. This typically happens on days like this, where there's a really big movement, and uh, basically the brokers are there trying to protect themselves. So just for simplicity's sake, we'll go back to this. So, But essentially, what does all of that mean? And so by taking all of that margin buying power you have, you know, so you probably want to know or may be wondering, well, how much can I get with my money? How many shares? Or at least when I'm day trading, sometimes if I'm looking to build a position, I need to be able to very quickly, uh, effectively be able to take a mental note of, okay, what can I get with what I currently have? How much can I get up to? Not saying that this is designed for you to max out your account every time, because I certainly do not, you know, substantiate or, or expect anyone to do that rather I'd hope you would not but if you are looking to build a position you need to you know be able to quickly know well how big of a position can you build now with time you'll be able to do it mentally with your own you know mental math but in the short term uh, I did create this little um, excel sheet so So now taking a look at this Excel sheet, um, which took me a little bit to build and it took me a while to kind of figure out, make sure all the formulas were correct. So I'll go through it um, from the from top to the bottom and it's, it's not actually in the exact order I'd want it to be. So uh, bear with me here. So essentially the initial margin, this is what is set by the SEC. You have to have a 50% initial margin. Um, and that is with an account minimum of less than 2000. So if you have, you know, 2000, or more than you actually qualify for margin. Without 2000, to my understanding, you do not even qualify. And then at maintenance margin, which is this is the number that we're actually going to be focusing on the most. And that is um, what I'm gonna refer to the most. Now, the account equity, just going down, this is be your account value. Now, this is not my account value, it's not my size. These are just numbers we're working with here. But um, you know, in order to have access to trading with something like Lightspeed, you need to have at least 25,000. So we just started there. And so with that $25,000 account, we'll put that in there. So, so with that $25,000 account, um, you know, multiply, you know, not to insult anyone's intelligence, but multiply 25,000 times four, then you would have roughly $100,000 account to work with. And so um, let's just skip down to Again, these aren't in the order of which I would want them to be. Uh, down here to margin buying power. So um, margin buying power, you can see that 25,000 times four would be close to 100. Well, it is 100, but the reason this number is not is because at least with my broker, with Lightspeed, they don't actually give you um, you know, four to one. They give you 3.974 um, 
to one. So it's really close, but they give themselves just that little bit of wiggle room just to make sure all of their, you know, participants, all of their clients are not just all of a sudden, you know, leveraged out truly completely leveraged out and in doing so that just buys them a little bit of wiggle room. So if you do have a $25,000 account and even, and you look in your margin buying power or, or your buying power, it would say something roughly around 99,300 and change. So typically um, the one thing Lightspeed does is they don't really operate in the pennies department. So um, they would, it would likely just say 99,375. Um, now, um, that would be, you know, this line right here that we're focused on is margin buying power. Now that four to one always goes in relation to what is your day to day buying power. That means you get $4 for every dollar you own in that trading day. But as soon as that day trickles into the next day, there's too many unknowns. So, so because of that, they only give you two to one overnight. And so that is why I have an overnight number. As you can see, this one is perfectly matched because it is, um, you will be able to get your full, um, you know, double whatever your equity says. So just for simplicity's sake, if we say it's 50, um, I just double that number. And so the overnight buying power number over here uh, doubled as well. So, and you can see that this um, is all formula based. So as I change one number, many of the numbers, they will change. So again, this is the overnight buying power and I did bring it down here. Um, so here is the overnight buying power at 99,374 or 99,375. Now, again, what does that matter? So then here I have a couple other things. And so this is where these numbers come into play. So number one, uh, what is the purchase price of whatever it is you're looking for? So um, I actually did this based on Tesla which um, to kind of showcase what Tesla is, um, Tesla was high at 866 and later, you know, when I was making this it was around 820, now you can see it's at 974. So um, that's where that number came from. I, was, I just picked a random stock. So coming back here, let's say, you know, 820. Um, if you have a $25,000 account and a $820 purchase price, um, how many shares can you buy? Uh, one thing I forgot to change was this 35% maintenance margin, which again, I go back and go back to this. You can see up here, their uh, maintenance margin is uh, 35. So I just matched that. And so now, um, before, let's forget about this for a second. Account, 25,000. Margin buying power, that's how much you get. Um, that's the four to one. But if we come over here, to the number of shares, these formulas are all based. So this is the number of shares with a $25,000 account. That's how much you could get. Now watch, if I change this to 25, you can get more. But there is a maintenance requirement of 35%. So in other words, you don't get the full four to one and you can get a total of 80, six shares um, during the day overnight you would be able to hold a maximum of 43 and if you were using just your account value and not dipping into margin whatsoever um, then you could get a total of 30 shares um, and with this 35 percent equity here uh, you can see here is essentially, you know, what I did was I broke it down into essentially what is the size of your account. So if this was 25%, this number here would all be equal. Your buying power and your max buying power. Actually, these are both written backward. That's at 25 as I change this to 35 or 35%, as you can see, the actual maximum account size you would have be working with be theoretically a 70-ish thousand. Uh, that's using the full uh, margin buying power allotted to you based on that account size. Now, of course, this gets really muddy if you have multiple stocks going at multiple times um, or at the same time, that is. Um, 
So again, you know, breaking back, coming back down. So here, uh, the maximum numbers of shares you can get, uh, which is just by taking whatever this number is divided by the price. Okay, so that's just simple. Now these up here was just if I were playing, you know, a little bit of a what if game. So if I wanted to get 100 shares, um, you know, what's this price times this, um, it would, you know, and then these numbers here, but but for the most part, just kind of forget this for now. Um, but essentially just wanted to kind of break it down into, so again, you could, you could put in any account size, let's say that your account was 34, I don't know, uh, just under 35,000. So you can see here your margin buying power would be um, 138 as four to, you know, as a four to one. Uh, that's how much would be allowed total. Um, but if you were trading Tesla, that's how much you would actually be able to work with. So you would be able to get around 120 ish shares if you were, again, you were going to max out your day buying power. And you would then, of course, close out the entire position before the day is up. Now, if you do have that full position open and you do not close at the end of the day, you are going to, A, get slapped on the wrist, and they are likely going to restrict or limit your buying power because they do not have to give it to you. That is something they offer to you as a courtesy. Uh, the second thing is you could be uh, stricken with fees as well as they are going to close your position out on margin, and they do not care how much money you do or do not make or how much money you lose. So... Um, Always best that, you know, and, and most day traders, they are just going to, they're going to close. They're going to be flat every day. Like myself, I'm, I'm constantly flat every day. It doesn't matter how bullish I am on a, on a sector or how bearish I am. I'm just, it's something that I'm not really willing to hold overnight because there's too many unknowns, especially in this market. So, uh, don't hold anything overnight. Um, but again, so this, that, that top number right here, that account equity, it's just whatever your account value size is. You know, if you have a, I don't know, like a really big account say 282,000, then you're working with, you know, your buying power is going to be over 1.1 million. But again, how much of that could you designate towards something like Tesla would only be around 800,000 and you would be able to get around 970 shares total. Again, not saying it would be advised and 300 of which 340 or so would be not touching or not dipping into margin at all. And then, of course, if you change that and let's say that instead of uh, since I've got it pulled up on the screen and instead of um, NVIDIA or instead of Tesla, you go to NVIDIA, which is 25 percent. The current price is 210. Then you could get it was a 5000 share. So um, much different number there when you're, you know, the price of things have changed. Plus, you get that extra 10 percent margin buying power. So uh, I know it's really confusing and. Um, but it's something that I've been really curious about for a long time. So um, something I wanted to make up. Let's let's just actually make this pretty. 794 um, buying power. So now that the price got down thirty dollars, you could actually get about five more shares. So pretty interesting to kind of see this and how it how it relates in real time. Uh, or at least to me it is. So uh, if you have any questions, you know, reach out, let me know. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. I've, if I can, I'll find a way to upload this uh, so that everybody can access it and benefit from it. There's nothing special. It's really just a matter of using, you know, quick formulas. The biggest thing was knowing, um, which I, I called and I asked, but essentially they give you 3.97499 uh, buying power. So just under 3.975, um, that's your, instead of an actual four, which, you know, if you ever wonder, it's, um, you know, why do you not get the full one? At least as a light speed user, that's why. So they don't give you the full number. Uh, it's, it's negligible. If, if you're really, really hurting for that extra, like 0.03%, then you probably need to like slow down. But anyway, that is it for me. If you have any questions, reach out, let me know. Hopefully if you like this video, let me know, or if you like this type of content and I'll keep making stuff like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.